All right, we're looking at the back of the 5017 and the ins and outs. Uh, we have a microphone input right here on an XLR connector. We have a microphone output on a TRS connector. The direct input is on the front of the unit, but when you use the blend control, the uh, line out comes out right here on this XLR connector. Also available on the back is a phantom power 48 volt switch for your microphones. And if you need it, uh, there's a ground lift switch. In this example, we have the acoustic guitar um, pickup that's in his guitar wired into this instrument input. We also have a Royer 121 stuck at the 12th fret uh, in front of his uh, guitar. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, be able to blend between those two signals. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab his instrument signal. And you can use the instrument LED right here to get your level. Nice full sound but that's really gonna give you the top end. And now we're gonna go over and get uh, the microphone, the Royer that's in front. So we're gonna use the blend control to come over to the microphone and we're gonna gain up the microphone until we hear it. So that's that famous dark ribbon sound that you got there. You can use the blend control to bring back in some of that, some of that high end. But that, uh, that microphone gives us that, that woody balance, that room sound, really what you want. Um, What's great is we also have the ability to use a, a phase sweep, the very phase control, and that's going to let us find a good balance between the two. So if I engage that, I can take the signal out of phase until I find a sweet spot where it's just really clicking. So in there sounds really great to me. Also we can engage compression on this, and uh, we have a compression LED right here that's going to show us this is a uh, no compression and as we lower the threshold down you'll see the compressor start to engage so that's really biting down and we're just going to back off and just get some of those little peaks awesome next we can engage the uh, silk control which gives us that old school knee sound all those low mids all that thick chunkiness just comes out and also on the microphone this uh high pass filter is going to help us clean up the signal a little bit. Yeah, takes out some of the mud. 